about radio. Um, I had a question about uh, how I'm going to set uh, this potentiometer so that it uh, uh, gives me the correct uh, readings on this uh, this meter and I'm going to go through that now. Um, the little gear on the end of the potentiometer has five teeth and this uh, cog has 17 so that's 17 divided by 5 gives me uh, a gear ratio of 3.4 to 1. So for each revolution of uh, this gear, that's going to go around 3.4 times. Oh, incidentally, I found um, uh, this little um, uh, handheld screwdriver. Um, never really used it. It's one of those. Uh, it was a, a freebie with um, with a router that I bought. Um, but uh, it'll, it'll provide about um, uh, 10 foot-pounds of uh, force uh, available here um, which uh, it would be enough to drive uh, my antenna around. I don't think I'll use the, uh, the little screwdriver, I think I'll stick with the, uh, with the drill but uh, anyway it's an option. With the gears that I've got on the rotator, uh, the big gear has 17 teeth and then the little gear that drives the 10 turn potentiometer has 5 teeth. Uh, so that has a ratio of 3.4 to 1. So every time the rotator uh, turns from uh, north, east, south, west. Uh, that's turned 360 degrees and uh, this drive for the potentiometer will turn around 3.4 times. And uh, that's fine, no, no problems with that. That's, uh, that's what I've worked for, uh, with. So that 10 turn potentiometer um, that, uh, if we draw that in here, and um, let's say uh, this has some uh, uh, zero voltage down there, and this is connected to some uh, plus voltage, uh, let's call it uh, 10 volts. Then, uh, if I start from zero or, or, or north, and then as I go around all the way to north, uh, the um, uh, potentiometer will climb up to uh, 3.4 uh, um, k, uh, k ohms. Yeah, or if, if we're measuring uh, from uh, zero volts, if we've got our meter here, and uh, our meter is marked north, east, south, west, north there and if, if that's there then uh, as that wiper moves up so it'll, it'll give me those readings and you'll say well that, that's fine um, it just means that um, I only use uh, 3.4 turns out of the 10 but that's no problem so long as I scale uh, the meter has got to be capable of um, being uh, reading the right scale so when it gets to 3.4 volts it's got to read uh, right across and that's no problem I can deal with that um, uh, the one problem I do have is when I come back uh, counterclockwise uh, I could go uh, past the north so I've come I've come down uh, south east and then get to north and if I carry on going anti-clockwise I could wring its neck and try and screw it into the ground so because I'm not going to have any limit switches on this system so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with what you might call a bias and that is I'm going to uh, have 
two turns on the potentiometer so I'm going to start up here somewhere at 2k ohms and that's going to be my north uh, at the start of this meter so in other words I've got this this bias it'll be a 2 volt bias won't it and then as it goes up uh, east south west north it'll get up to here and uh, it'll actually have 5.4 volts on the wiper yeah I hope I'm still uh, making that clear so um, it, if I do that and uh, I don't scale the meter or I'll change the offset it'll mean it'll it won't read true so what I've got to do because of this 2 volt offset here I've got to have a 2 volt offset on the other side so I have another potentiometer there and uh, uh, that'll set the zero so obviously if I've got this uh, set at 2 volts and uh, that's at 2 volts then there's no potential difference between those two positions so the meter will read zero volts uh, so in fact what I will have is I'll have this potentiometer that gives me my direction I'll have this potentiometer that I'll use to uh, set zero and then I'll have another potentiometer uh, in there that will actually set the scale um, and uh, I'll show you in a little demonstration exactly how that setup works. Okay, yeah, I've got my uh, uh, rotator notionally pointing north. Um, I've uh, wound two turns onto to the potentiometer and then engaged it so that it's uh, it's starting from uh, the second turn. Um, my meter it says we're facing north but on this potentiometer I've got a uh, control there to actually set that so I can set my zero that's a zero now I'm going to set the span and you'll see uh, we're on north So you can see that's clearly not right but what we're going to do is set the span but I want to take it up to north again okay I think that's where my north is somewhere there now I've got this potentiometer and you'll see I've got control over the needle there and now I'm going to say right that's my span so that's uh, if you like set the scale of the meter so now when I go back round we should see that uh, the, uh, the coordinates are in the correct place And you'll see if I go beyond zero, the meter will go past there. So I'm sort of uh, going west the other way. What I could have done and, and still could do is um, change this scale so that my um, uh, north at either end was inboard of the scale so that I'd got sort of legitimate room to move on the meter within the 360 degrees so in other words as I've got it now the meter is uh, reading 360 degrees I could scale it to read 400 degrees if I wanted to anyway I hope that's clear anyway I hope you found that interesting guys um, just got to sort of make some sort of covers for it all um, uh, Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. And then the meter drops off.
And you wouldn't believe how difficult it has been trying to set up on my workbench. The workbench is like the bottom of a baby's pram. You've never seen so much rubbish spread, out, spread around. <laughs> 